Welcome back, all Botello fans. I'm gonna do some hunting today. I'm gonna go out to the feeder. Uh, you've probably seen the video. Uh, probably, I don't know, about three weeks ago. Uh, we did the feeder, hadn't been out there since. Uh, hopefully the hogs are hitting it and they found it by now. I wanted to do bow hunt, but sorry guys, I'm not. It's too windy today, plus I haven't practiced. I've been busy all week and last week. Uh, if y'all haven't heard, I, uh, I left the job that I was at and I'm gonna go back to the skylight. So uh, in these past two weeks, I've been busy. I have to do a lot of stuff around the house. Actually, uh, these dirt bikes over here behind me, I built a uh, lean-to next to my boat, uh, my boat little carport there, or the boat port, and uh, built a lean-to on the side of it so I can park those bikes. Finally bought me a new mower, so uh, I need to park that in there, so I had to make room for that. Got a new John Deere mower. So, uh, in the meantime, I've been doing a lot of work around the house, trying to get stuff done. So, uh, now I have a little bit of time to play. So I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna try to see if a hog shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the AR, I got a Cyclops light on it. Let me first let me let me show you real quick. Alright guys, so the Cyclops light. No, it's a pretty pretty sweet light. It's got a pressure switch on it. You know what? Actually I think I, I have an unboxing. Let's let's go to that here in a sec. Uh, and then you'll see you'll see it. I actually bought it like three months ago. I uh, was at the casino and I, I left and then stopped at Bucky's. I actually got it at Bucky's. It was a really good deal. I think it was like 70 bucks. Not sure, but watch the video on the unboxing and you'll you'll see uh, I describe. Talk about it. I got a lot of extras with it. I'll have the GoPro mounted on the side there, the, uh, the, the session. And then I'll see if I can get some GoPro footage with the Hero mounted on my chest. Try to get different angles, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I might see something, might not, but uh, in the meantime, uh, just check out that unboxing and uh, and uh, I'll be heading towards the stand. There's that lean to I've been working on. So, uh, see y'all out in the woods. Okay, guys, I'm doing an unboxing here. I uh, actually went to the casino. Anyways, forget them. Uh, went to the casino today, won a little bit of, a little bit of money, came home, stopped, stopped by, uh, Bucky's, and I picked up this varmint light, uh, a Cyclops rechargeable varmint light, got a five hour burn time, uh, it goes out to 285 yards, um, it was $79, and I've seen a lot of varmint lights go for over a hundred dollars, but, this one, I don't know. It seems to be worth it. Uh, it came with all these attachments here. I mean, I got like three or four different attachments, or four. I got the regular button switch and a pressure switch, which I have on my gun right here. I just actually in in installed it on there. Uh, I got a, a Smith & Wesson m and and I put this right here side mount that extends out a little bit because I didn't know if I was gonna have clearance. I might put the one that's a little bit closer, but I tested it out. I liked it. Uh, it actually it seems like it pivots a little bit towards the inside of the barrel. So, I mean, when you're looking through the scope and I actually shined it on my dog's eyes because uh, I, mean, I mean, I am gonna be shooting coyotes with it and pigs. So I wanted to see what it looked like, but uh, shines really good and it's foggy outside right now and i got the pressure switch over here on the right side i'm probably going to mount it on the uh on the fore grip right there or on the hand grip so uh and it's got velcro so i'll do that here in a little bit but uh yeah it comes with all these attachments it's a bright light if it says it runs for five hours then uh i mean i think it's a darn good deal so uh yeah and it also came with two chargers here one that actually plugs into your your car so you can charge this battery while you're driving and honestly I think it, in less than an hour it charged up fully and of course a wall charger here but uh yeah it's the Cyclops rechargeable farm
Well guys, I'm almost there. I'm almost here. Got the uh, GoPros charging right here on the bottom. Stop by my dad's for a little bit. Let that charge up. Let those cameras charge up a little bit. Hopefully, you know, they don't give me no problems to get some footage. But uh, yeah, thanks to be at my dad's Rancho Cascavel. That's what we call the ranch today. But uh, I'm gonna pull in there, visit for a little bit, and then I'm gonna head to the stand. So uh, I'll be there shortly. I don't know what it was, but that's how I'd like to end. Returning to a sacred morning, ash to earth, ash to water, in my Here. Uh, it's pretty windy out there. Uh, the weather said, I think, 40 mile per hour winds. I'm not sure, but it feels like it. I mean, it is gusting out there right now. I'm going to sit it out. I'm going to try. I mean, I might not see nothing. I might. I don't know. I'm fixing to walk over to the, to the, to the stand here in a minute. Uh, check the feeder. Look at the card and see if anything is on it. So uh, stay with us. Forgot to bring spray to spray myself down. I didn't bring my backpack. I was in a rush. Well, guys, got my card out. Oh man, that's a big old pig coming in. Look at that track right there. Oh my god. They tore up my feeder. I have no corn in the feeder. The raccoons tore up my feeder. Oh man, it's on. Where's my battery and stuff? My timer's gone, everything is gone. Well guys, I'm fixing to check the camera. I'm pretty upset. I'm fixing to put a raccoon trap out here and start catching them. Uh, I don't know. Man, it's so windy, so windy in the stand now so uh, I'm just frustrated I just put that feeder out they tore up my solar panel too I mean all the guts inside that box I don't know how do they open it I put a piece of wire through that it blows my mind they got into that cage and just ripped everything out see this shows you how destructive those raccoons are you know what Waging war on it. Guys, I don't know if you can see the the camera here. I'm just scrolling through the pictures. Yeah, them raccoons tore it up. Look at that one hanging on it. Looks like there's three or four of them. I'm going to get them. Even if I have to sit in this stand with a 22 at night. But look at this big old hog that's coming in. Dang, he's pretty big. He's coming in in the morning at 7 o'clock. So if I can get here at 6.30, maybe I can get an arrow in him. I'm going to try that. Man, he's coming. 9 o'clock, he's here in the middle of the morning. Yeah, but that was a... Check out this. I mean, these pigs don't even care that they're feeding with the uh, cows here. I mean, every day they're coming in even after the raccoons have tore the feeder up. I have a feeling they'll be here tonight. That was on the 9th, four or five days ago. Yeah. Every morning, I need to get out here with a bow and get them with a bow. Oh, we also have a turkey. Cool, check that out. Well, guys, trying to get the keep the camera as close as I can to me because it's so windy uh, I really didn't even have to whisper it's uh probably getting close to six probably about 5 30 5 45 right now I'm in the stand finally got here for like I said I forgot all the uh spray and stuff to spray me down but I don't think it's gonna matter with this wind I've got some uh some evergreen trees here whatever wipe myself down. I got them in my boots too. 
So uh, let's see if I can get some scent control that way. But man, I'm I'm still so upset about the raccoons, man. Guys, go ahead and call it. It's 9:03. I was gonna stay later to try to wait for a pig or some more raccoons, but uh, man, the wind is just howling. I mean, that tree stand is rocking like a uh, like a rocking chair. So uh, I guess in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and go home and try to figure out if I'm gonna if I can come out tomorrow morning. And uh, I might bring my bow out because uh, if those pigs are hitting the feeder like they it shows on the camera, then they've been coming in pretty early in the morning, about mm, about 7:30, 7 7:30. So if I can get in the stand by 6:30 in the morning, then uh, you know I'll give it a I'll give it a go with the bow. So uh, stay tuned to that. Got one raccoon, so. There was five in the picture, so that's just one last one that I got to worry about. So four more to go. Uh, if I see one in the morning, I'll stick one with an arrow. But uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. Uh, hit that bell icon so you can get our, uh, our notifications of all of our new videos. So uh, until next time, I'll Botello Outdoors.